Hello and welcome back commanders and commander. It's Chesty Puller here with another War Commander video. This one is for the Shadow Ops. I've seen a lot of people ask for an easy way for low levels. This is an easy way for low levels. I know that most low levels are going to have Cosmorders. You don't even need the special workshop, you know, to shoot air. So what you want to do is use something as a high priority unit. If you don't have Brother Devin, just use a single, um, you use your Oxford or a cannon, and that will be your high priority unit. For the air that you're going to use right here at the beginning, I recommend using these. These are the best. I have a glitch on mine where it shows that there's one second of damage as soon as I deploy them because they're not max level yet. And that's an ongoing glitch when you have things in the process of being upgraded. They're going to show uh, one second of damage until they get to max level. It doesn't work. It doesn't happen on every level. But, uh, but these are the best ones. They are actually more powerful than the Lilith as far as their firepower. That laser will slow everything down. I, I am using slow-mo. And then all you need is Cosmorders. I'm using Gus, but you don't need Gus. All you need is Cosmorders. Now, your high priority unit, those units that are coming out, you don't have to worry about those units. What you worry about is the stationary infantry. They are the, the guys that are causing all the damage. The stationary infantry right there. You see them? Use the slow-mo, special op, and that will slow them down. Uh, the stationary infantry are actually harder to kill than these tanks. These tanks right here, that I'm targeting right now are easy to kill and they don't have the range they can't shoot you they're extremely slow just back up move forward and back up again you know and then you'll get them my uh, Cosmorders are max level so I'm gonna kill things a little bit more quickly um, now uh, it's difficult to finish this base in one attack it can be done but uh, don't worry about it because this base will not reset. So uh, you need to do one of these per week. I recommend doing several of them per week. That way you get all kinds of uh, workshop and you save yourself a lot of XP. You don't have to buy the workshop. So I recommend doing several of these per week. All right, I like to open the right side first because the boss is not on the right side. And now I'm going to go for these guys in the center. Just get them out of the way because uh, you don't want to accidentally move within their range. Um, again, the, uh, the anti-air are no threat to you. Just make sure that you don't target uh, the wrong one and move into the range of the trucks. The trucks that are right there that I'm targeting, those are the <clears throat> ones that uh, will shoot you. However, uh, only if you get within their range and you outrange them with your Cosmorders, so you should be able to get them as long as you don't, you know, move closer than you should. All right. As I said, the whole trick to doing this is the... Uh, uh, Clearing out the um, the infantry, okay? And they're, they're so tiny and they're hard to target. That's why I said in my last video, it's almost better to not use the Gravedigger because the Gravedigger ghosts start going out there and if you accidentally click one of your ghosts, then you lose control of your Cosmorders. So it's better just to use Cosmorders for this base. Um and there is another guy hiding right there. Um, I just uh, killed him. So you got to be careful of these little infantrymen. See, there's an, another stationary infantryman back here. Let me go ahead and uh, clear out a few things here. And then I will get him. I think these uh, CCs explode. So if you get too close to them, they'll cause you damage. If you'll notice, there's like a little explosion that takes place. And... Uh, somewhere back here, I don't know what's causing it, but I think it's these things right here that I think when I when I do that, I think they explode, uh, and and it doesn't cause much damage, but it will cause some damage. 
And then there's one more infantry hiding back here. And I want to get him from the back because he's too close to the boss. So um, we'll get him from the uh, coming from like this back side of the base. And uh, clear out all of these uh, other anti-air turrets. They're not going to be a problem. Uh, once we clear out the anti-air and once we clear out this other side right here, then we can bring in uh, Lilith to finish the job off um, for um, for the boss. The boss can shoot regular air. You have to use high altitude air. You can also use your Malachi if you don't have uh, Lilith. Um, so Malachi will work. It just takes a little bit longer with Malachi to kill the boss. Here comes this last tank. We do want to get the tank, but we want to uh, prioritize the infantry because the infantry are faster. They can come after you and they have, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, splash damage. They have splash damage. So they'll get all your units. So, like I said, there's a glitch on my um, luminaries where they're not max level yet. So, it's going to show one second of damage on my luminaries. But this is essentially uh, zero damage. Nothing's taking any damage. Uh, now, I'm just going to come in with the Lilith. And I am giving this base away, so I don't want to finish it. I, um, I, I just want to show you that, uh, you know, you can now come in. I like to come in uh, down the sort of down the middle and then head over toward the boss because I call him the boss because I don't know what his name is, the big tank. But uh, the reason I do that is because I kind of trap him against the, the dirt wall right there. So if you just come in, he'll start running towards the back. He'll literally drive off the map, and he's harder uh, to get because if he's moving, he's harder to get. So if you'll notice here, he's trapped. He's not moving. He's just stuck there. So we'll go ahead and end attack because, like I said, I'm giving this base away. It does show those two one-second damages on my luminaries, but that's a glitch. Um, and that's it. That's the best, fast way to do this uh, <clears throat> um, Shadow Ops base. Hope it was helpful. See you guys next time.